Hey, 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 everybody. Greetings, everybody. Greetings and salutations. It's Jade coming at you on another Sunday. Maybe fun day. We don't know at this point with the Vikings what we're going to get, purple people. Thanks for joining me. Hope everybody had a great holiday that celebrates and all that good stuff. Hope you're doing well today. The Vikings were sitting at four and six, as most of us know, after that uh, absolutely pathetic display, atrocious loss to uh, Dallas last week, who um, Dallas, oddly enough, got the, got the smithereens beaten out of them when they lost to the Washington football team. Um, let me look in the double end here. 41 to 16. Did you guys watch that? Wasn't that atrocious? And then that team, they got beaten that badly by another team that's not very good, allegedly, beat the Purple. So what does that say about the Vikings? We're not very good. We're going nowhere. The season is a wash. The season's weird anyway. And half the teams right now can't even play. Denver doesn't have a quarterback. Baltimore's missing half of the team. And everybody's pet heads are falling off. Okay, <laughs> it was only a matter of time. I mean, I shouldn't laugh because it's kind of um, uh, a morbid state of affairs that we find ourselves in, but here we are, lo and behold. So, the Vikings, back to them, purple people. The Vikings are hosting. Is everybody excited? Is everybody thrilled? Is everybody can't wait? The Vikings are hosting the Carolina Panthers today, which, coincidentally, gives us the return of Teddy Bridgewater, who is the starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. Minnesota drafted Teddy, I don't even remember how many years ago it was now. Uh, probably the closest uh, hopeful for a franchise quarterback that the Vikings had seen in a long time. And then came that day, I believe it was August, when the kid damn near lost his leg. So we're happy for Teddy that he's playing. I moved past the whole Bridgewater thing a long time ago. I don't have anything against him. I'm super glad that he's playing, that he got all healed up and he's doing the thing now. Really happy for him. But I realized a very long time ago that he doesn't play for this team anymore. He's not a Viking. He doesn't play for the purple. He's not on the Vikings anymore. So I think a lot of people um, are anxious about seeing him today. And there's probably a lot of people that wish that they could be at the stadium. I think he would get uh, a very, he'd probably get, you know, standing ovation at the Bird Graveyard today. If there were fans in attendance, alas, no fans. So, the Vikings, they are without today, people. Ezra Cleveland is going to miss his second game, and it seems like he was definitely missed in this last game. And there's going to be no Irv Smith Jr. At least he's listed as doubtful. Doesn't matter. Just throw to Kyle Rudolph. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Season's a wash anyway. Hopefully the game will be competitive though because the Panthers are four and six. Next to the Vikings who are, uh, excuse me, the Panthers are four and seven. Next to the Vikings who are four and six. So hopefully it'll be a good matchup today. That's what we can hope for. Um, and then, and then on top of everything, for the purple, no Adam Thielen. <laughs> that sounded more Thielen today. He apparently will not be playing. Word on the street is, uh, I read an article from ESPN's Courtney Cronin that was pretty much the whispers around the league or that he is going to be unavailable today. Per, you know, usual Mike Zimmer. Well, we'll just have to see what comes, what happens on Sunday. Okay, which is code for he's not playing. So, could this be the game that Justin Jefferson just completely explodes, like all-star, get him in the end zone, throw to Justin Jefferson, why not, utilize him, let's get, let's get him some reps, let's get him some more experience, let's, you know, utilize this team for all of our young players that the Vikings have, because like I said, this team's going nowhere. There's six games left, including today. So if they were to win out, they'd finish 10 and 6. Sure, and then they'd make it in the playoffs. Do they deserve to be there? No, absolutely not. This team is trash. <laughs> they're going nowhere. A lot of good, there's a lot of good pieces, okay, but they're all scattered about. They're not together. So, problems. And then, you know, our one most important piece doesn't even fit with the rest of the pieces, that being our quarterback. But I'm going to continue. 
So I could easily see the Vikings getting the victory today. And once again, just providing that false hope, dangling that purple carrot for everybody that the Vikings are wont to do. I could definitely see that happening today. I could definitely see Teddy coming back in here, having a shining all-star game. However, Teddy doesn't really seem like a, a vindictive person. Not that you necessarily need to be vindictive to go back to your former team and play a good game, but I just don't. He's just, he doesn't seem like the vicious type. He really doesn't. I could be wrong, but I mean, Teddy Bear, come on, man. come on. So with that being said, I'm hoping the game is competitive today. Uh, I also was thinking about our other wide receivers, B.C. Johnson, Chad Beebe, and um, Tajay Sharp. Remember him, you guys? He's on the team. So we have people. Alexander Madison. I would love to see Alexander, Ma Alexander Madison getting some more time. Delvin Cook, dude, it, this keep, team's going nowhere. He's going to get injured again, and then you're going to use him, utilizing, just giving him, you know, uh, rap after rap after rap here, and then he goes down, and hopefully it's not a catastrophe, and he's able to come back, but just think about if he got injured and then wasn't able to come back, and why are we, why are we handing him up, handing off to him so much every single game, only to then waste his talent, maybe get injured, and then be out forever, but that's worst case scenario. I'm snowballing here, but I'm just saying, you guys, I don't, eh. Utilize our young players here. Get them all the experience that they they can get. I guess at this point, Justin Jefferson, hopefully you have just an amazing game today. The Vikings have not played well at home. I think they've only won one game at home so far this season. So, you know, that doesn't bode well. Yeah, they've only won one game at home. They're one in four at home, you guys. So, what's going to happen today? I... I could see it going both ways, honestly. This team is great at doing that. They won a couple in a row, got everybody's hopes up, and then lost to Dallas. That's struggling. That's completely terrible. Dallas only to then get blown out by another bad team, 41-16. to 16. So you just don't know what to expect with this team. The one thing that we can expect from the purple people is that they will get your hopes up, and then they will... They'll, They'll dash, they'll dash your hopes and dreams. They'll just come in and, you know, take the rug out from underneath you. Just as it was, just as the rug and the, was about to become a magic carpet. That's what they'll do. So, <laughs> with that being said, I could see them winning today. Definitely. See, we're back on it. We still got a chance, okay? We still have a chance. But the whole season is in jeopardy at this point with the Rona going around. Who knows what's going to happen. I mean, does Denver have a quarterback today? I'm not that good at throwing a football, but I'm available. I mean, I think the game, I don't know, is a couple hours away. I'd probably get there in time. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's bound to get nuts here. But, hey, that's what happens in the NFL. It's weird anyway. And then you mix in the, the Rona weirdness, and then it's just extra weird. So just extra weird on top of uh, with a extra weird cherry on top. So that's. That's, uh, that's where we're at right now, people. And I think one thing, too, is we should really enjoy the football while it lasts. <laughs> right? Let's enjoy this entertainment while we can. Uh, good luck to everybody's fantasy football teams out there. Mine are utter trash and garbage. Both of them are going nowhere, but nobody cares. So, let's make a prediction. I am going to predict the Vikings win this one today. And I am only saying that because, like, deep down, I could definitely see them, you know, shit in the bed again, like they do, um, having the diapers, the soiled diapers on. But I hope, I really hope they have the, the pull-ups on today and they can get it done and prove that they can win at home. And I'm only saying that, honestly, you guys, because <laughs> it's my grandpa's birthday tomorrow and he's a huge Vikings fan. So if they can get the win and provide him some false hope, because he'll eat it up. I would love that, so. <laughs> it's my own little selfish reason for wanting the purple to win today, but I could see him again. Soil diaper land. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna pick a score of the Vikings winning, but honestly, you guys, and he doesn't, my grandpa doesn't watch the channel, so he'll never know. I'm only picking them to win for him. Deep, deep down, I do think that they're gonna lose. 
But uh, let's pick a score of the Vikings 20. Let's pick the, pick the Vikings 27. And then let's pick Carolina 21. Okay, I'm going to pick that. So we'll see what happens. If it was the flip side, if Carolina is the victor today and the Vikings lose, maybe something like Carolina 28, the Vikings like 20, something like that. Let's go with two scores, two predictions, just because I can't really decide. But anyway, hope everybody has a nice one. We have a couple hours to wait. And I will see everybody after the game, per usual. So take it easy, and I'll check you later. Bye.